Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Gen Friends. Um, this is my, my name is Melissa Barker. I'm known as the Archive Lady, and uh, Sherry Hudson Passy is not with us tonight. Uh, and so, but we are all here going to talk about episode number two. Yes, number two. Uh, and so, I'm going to introduce the panel. We have Wait, Laura. of relative race. <laughs> yes, number, sorry, season number two, number two of us, relative race. I, you know, you can tell I don't do this. So, um, so Laura Hedgecock uh, with Treasure Chest of Memories. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. And if I forget who you're with, just tell me because I'm not used to doing this. Uh, Jenna Horan, who are you? And you are with Herding like, Cats. Yep, yeah, like Herding Cats Genealogy. Like, that's right. You see, I've been doing this every week and uh, I still don't know it. And <laughs> great to have you. Great to have you. And Mary Kircher Roddy with MKR Genealogy and Applied Genealogy. Is that right? The Applied Genealogy Institute. Yes, great institute. And so I encourage everyone to go check that out. That, great for being here. Mm -hmm. And um, we usually have other ones on the panel, but tonight it is us four. So episode two, I didn't know that we, I didn't think I'd get through episode one with all the changes. It just blew my mind. Mm -hmm. um, and so episode two. So how do we want to start? Well, it, the show started with Green Team explaining the way they understood the rules, which was not how I understood <laughs> the rules last week. So I was really, but she basically said they had to, to get out of the elimination position. They had to beat one other team at the challenge. So to get out, apparently it's not your overall, like where you came in score wise, which still confuses me because what if you beat everybody at the challenge and then you have a fender bender and you take two hours. So I still don't quite understand, but it was, but it did set up because then we knew, okay, that's what, that's what the, the game is on today. Like for them to know who they had to beat. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So um, we started with them saying goodbye to the relatives that they met on day one uh, and getting in their cars. There's new cars. Except somebody, the relative was gone. It's in you know, breakfast. Yeah. Fix yourself breakfast. It's in the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what the back. Yeah, there's. I wonder if there's a backstory about that. We can, you know, make yeah, make I a mental kinda, note to ask somebody about. Maybe yeah. she had to work the next day or something. Yeah, I kind of thought we almost were going to see her again that night at the other relative's house. I did house, too. I but, did too. So, um, so they fixed their own breakfast. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but she left them ingredients, and so yes, that yes. was good. Mm -hmm. uh, that was what team? What color was that that did that? Had to do that. Green was, team. Was, red i think wasn't it no, no they had to fix no. their own breakfast it was gr team it was green team green, team. green? Team green. Yeah, because it was okay. i wrote team. aunt shanda wasn't there or shanda wasn't there that's right okay. aunt. yeah okay so See, very neat notes y'all there you go <laughs> hey that's like better than mine mine I... are like this <laughs> mm -hmm. i have to take notes because they're so uh, with all four teams and i think it's going to be this way all season mm-hmm because uh, because uh, we'll get to it, I think. But you know that some of them made comments about we can just stay out of it. Till, and they kept saying day nine, day nine. I'm like, this is going to be so weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because day nine is the worst. Going to be the the dead, the terriblest day. Is that a word? The most <laughs> terrible day to be in the elimination position. Mm. It is. So, like, it's so, probably not as scary on day two because you have time. But I, I, and I don't know whether so many days in the elimination position puts you in the doghouse or so many consecutive days. They haven't said it, anything it, about that, so I don't no, know. I d and but I can't believe that somehow it doesn't being in the elimination slot doesn't somehow count because what if you were yeah if you were in the elimination spot the whole time yeah but made and, it got out the, and then finally got out on day eight and then yeah. right and get, i don't know the finals <laughs> so let's talk about to where see all the teams went so team green went to montgomery alabama from where they were they went they traveled to montgomery alabama 
And then, which was kind of odd, but red team and blue team both went to the same city, Deerfield, Illinois. Now, I was trying to wrap my brain because I haven't seen all of the seasons, but Never. I wonder if this is the Never. first time that they we've had two teams do a challenge together in the same city. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I've never seen it before either. I thought that was, and a I've really watched cool all the twist. seasons. Yeah, and I was looking for a reason or some kind of catch or something, but I didn't see one. Did you all? Did you did you catch anything that was like why they did that that way? Well, I mean, were I, they I, they were both in Illinois, right? They were both yeah. going somewhere, so maybe they just thought it was close enough proximity to maybe just kind of meet them there. Yeah. I don't know. They would have both had had to have had relatives in the area yes. and so they may have jiggered the hmm. order of when they would put people into those you know oh, I see introduce those relatives right put that well, order. They went, both went to Deerfield Illinois but then team red when they went to their relatives house they said we're going to Highland Park so hmm. I didn't look it up so I don't know how close or far Deerfield is from Highland Park or if Highland Park is in Deerfield. I don't know. I didn't look it up. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Um so so they're going to there. And then the last one was black team. They went to Bend, Oregon, which was an Edward, can we go back to the yeah. Illinois question? Sure. Highland Park and Deerfield are eight minutes apart. Okay. Mm. All right. Very close. Thank you, Mr. Right. Google. Well, I, and and, uh, and going back to that, though, when you think about them doing the challenge together, it's one thing to have the challenge. I mean, the challenge is already enough. But I really felt like that they were competing against each other, which they didn't need to do. Did they? It, no, but it was just made for more drama. <laughs> yeah. Because they could see, oh, those guys are ahead of us. Yeah. 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 I loved that. I loved that pairing, though, because you got the the young guys and the older guys and and they were kind of trash talking each other you know they it were. was kind of fun and the and the way that they arrived at the same time it, that or I, that had to be uh, right up. they they <laughs> held one team it's like okay now you guys are going to drive up together so i was curious yeah. about that that they yeah. they had them it, sit it was staged because thumbs. when you when you watch them drive in their cars drove in like this well this is the in and this is the out. <laughs> so I think they shut the road down or something and let them drive in together. Yeah, yeah. but it was fun. It was fun. It was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I thought that too. Plus the distances, they there was a little bit of variation and they, they had an hour and a couple of minutes, but there was like a 10 minutes time difference. So I thought, well, if they're driving in together, somebody's already at a disadvantage. Yeah. So I think that was probably a little bit staged. So the the challenge was called Conjoined Confusion. Um, <laughs> what did you think about the challenge? I would have, I would have never, oh my gosh, there were so many elements to me to it because, you know, what, what they were joined at the hip, right? Yes. And then they had to navigate over a balance beam, um, and then make their way through a tangled mess of ropes or something like that. Yes. And, and then the memorizing, which I have no brain anymore, but, uh, you know, they had to memorize what, uh, uh, uh colors, the and shapes shares. and colors, yeah. yeah, series of shapes and colors. you know, and a lot of times we see these challenges and it's either seemingly a physical challenge or a mental challenge. And this mm -hmm. time they really combined and had a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, understand I thought it was... the rope thing. I couldn't figure out what they were doing because it was because tangled were... all throughout the thing. But I, I think, think they, were told... they were Yeah, they were they were they were joined, and I think it was a challenge to be able to know which way to navigate. So you were because you were you know you were joined at the hip. I don't think we heard that instruction. I think they were instructed to like go under and over and all because yeah. um, one of the teams told. I think it was black team. Um, uh, I can't think of her name, uh, Brenna, I think it's her name, Brennan or Brenna, telling her mom, yeah. no, mom, you can't go over, you have to go under. And so mm -hmm. I'm thinking they were given instructions about going over and under and through and something, but we didn't hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like they were doing it like one after another, but they were joined. And I wondered, like, could they have just like bear hugged each other and gone <laughs> through it like just once without as much thinking? Did they just yeah. have to get across it? Because it didn't look like they were going down the length of this twisted well, rope. It was a balance beam. So they both had to stay on there and be balanced. Yeah. Yes. 
but the rope part I didn't understand either. Yeah. Well, they were opening up the ropes, you know, and going in and, and over and under. And so, yeah. And then you think about if you've ever done a three legged race where you've, you know, you've tied each of your legs together. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't walk the, all the same and we don't move the same. So then you have that aspect of it, trying to keep that in sync. But what got me, and I don't know if anybody else noticed it was at the end when each team got it right and they were able to move on, they ran still conjoined <laughs> to their car or to wherever, if you watched them, I'm like, <laughs> why didn't they unhook themselves? Maybe they weren't allowed to. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, I didn't notice that. But... A lot. <laughs> on day one, they ran to their cars with the armor on, and I'm thinking, That's why didn't true. they just leave yeah. it there? Exactly, exactly. But that was that was just that would have been frustrating to me because if they didn't remember, so once they they saw the sequence that was there, then they had to go all the way back and put the sequence yeah. the right way on the other. And if they got one wrong. They had to go through that whole thing again. I would have just cried right there. I would have just been like, oh my gosh, to go through all that again. But one of the girls from green team said that they, one of them remembered colors and the other one remembered shapes. Mm, yes. And the one that remembered colors made up a little ditty about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, yes. that's, that's the smartest way, even if it takes you a minute longer to memorize it. And they got it right the first try. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were the that. only ones. Yeah, but you know the thing is, I almost forgot that team. Um, who got their first puzzle piece? Um, they had the advantage. Team Red, Red, Red. red yes, did. Team yeah. Red. And I almost kind of forgot, like you know, was that important because it didn't really help them, you know, at the end. I mean, they, I mean, it took them a while anyway yeah. to, to get it, but reward doesn't yeah. always pan out. I mean, right. you get it, but it doesn't mean that you're going to win. Mm -hmm. well that was absolutely that was a true challenge i mean that one i'm like i'm like you jenny i just don't know if i could have gotten through that one yeah yeah, yeah that was so tough. That was tough. um they all get through it eventually mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um and then they get the address to their uh to their relative and again they're going to these places asking for directions and again, this season, nobody knows whoever's living in these cities know where anything is. <laughs> I know, I know. Would you ever expect people at a mini mart, though? I mean, a mini mart gas station. I mean, those yeah. are just a transient place. I, that that to me is I, the the least place I would expect anybody to know where they were going. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, they all had a strategy, though. I like that they all went in different directions. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I think that's a good strategy. Yeah, where like Team Blue, one of them went inside and the other one's interviewing people. I think interviewing people at the gas pumps might be better because they might be people that go in that area where yeah. the clerk might just know how to go from home to the store and back. It doesn't know what any of the street names are or things like that. <laughs> The only thing I came up with, and, and I actually noticed it more in this episode, is that a lot of the houses, and of course, we've talked in the past about maybe they're using Airbnbs or something like that, but but more than one or two of the houses looked like they were newer, and so I wonder when they were asking people about directions, maybe these were new subdivisions uh, or new builds, and so and new street names, and so a lot of these people may not know where these particular streets are. That's a good theory. Very and good even, observation. Well, I mean, even, you know, like GPS, sometimes when you or got your GPS, they can't find it because it's a new subdivision or a new That's, street or new road. Yeah. So I thought yeah. that because I I, once I saw the houses, I was like, oh, that one looks kind of new. And then the other one looks kind of new. And so I thought, well, you maybe that's why. You think they're renting out model homes and new subdivisions? <laughs> because they're probably perfectly decorated. <laughs> so I did notice. I lived I can't in remember, a model home. Oh, you, you lived in a model home? When we lived in Ireland, we were in the show house. And that's how people used to introduce me. This is Mary. She lives in the show house. <laughs> Those show houses are decorated to show, mm -hmm. not to live in. Yeah. Uh, so I know a lady that bought, a, uh, bought the model home in a new sub. And for like a full year, they still had people that thought it was still the model home, like knocking <laughs> on the door, wanting a tour. Oh, so she is like in her jammies, like, no. <laughs> also, I was going to ask Mary if she ever got any visitors wanting to see the house. Yes. It, it had, the, the subdivision had been going, I guess, for some while, but 
Um, so we didn't have any visitors, but yeah, it was it was interesting living there with a uh, um, three kids. <laughs> well, I, the red team, I think it was the red team. I noticed was looking around in the house that they were in, and it was very sparsely decorated. And so I wondered, it was this, you know one of those homes that we've talked about so was that the team they were all just sitting in three chairs there wasn't yes. a sofa or a love seat yes. that was odd that, that was, was odd, odd. cuz they looked kind of like those actors chairs you see on an actor set you know <laughs> and so that's why I was thinking and, it, and you couldn't see much there wasn't much in the room and so I thought mm, I wonder if that's one of those homes so so who well, do we want to talk about team red why don't we talk about sure. what what they did okay go ahead Oh, I wasn't meaning. <laughs> so basically, um, they a pretty lady came out to meet them. Her name is Quinn, which is short for Quinetta. And she said she was Justin's second cousin. And then one of the things I thought was really kind of cool is she was asking him his full name. And when he said his middle name started with an A, she's like, it's Alexander, Daniel. wasn't it? Yeah. Is it Alexander? That's what I yes, thought. Yes, yeah, yeah. I can't really read my writing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that um, she said that, oh, well, all us Daniels have an A middle name. It's a big thing. But the other thing that I thought was interesting, they were got really geeked out that they were the same age. I know. They went on and on about that. <laughs> that was interesting. I think yeah. that she, doesn't she say that she's got her cousin, the rest of her cousins are like, older than her or younger than her or something and so she was nice to have someone that was her age yeah that she could relate yeah. to yeah. and yeah. that his name is actually daniels is that what we got from that, that i don't know about? justin's last name but she's or whether she was just saying that proves that you're part of the family i remember thinking that they said that she, that because of how he descends that that he would have been a daniels right that's what i don't think his surname is daniels but it would right. be he that's what's yes. his observation that his biological name this, i yeah, guess this is what i would have been yeah and, yeah yeah okay yeah well she was so sweet um you know she was just so welcoming and and he was and i was kind of hoping that um and i can never remember justin's partner's name but um Jason? what was his name is it uh, James? James? It's James. James, thank you. Oh. Um, I was hoping that the relative was going to be for James. I'm always like that, though. I want to be one here and then one on the other side and one here, you know, just to be even. Right. Um, and so, uh, so, but it was for Justin and uh, very, very happy um, to meet his cousin, his second cousin. Yeah. yeah. And I was actually glad to see them. I know people are like, that's not very close, but I think it is. I mean, it is somebody if that if you bond with them that you can continue to have a relationship, you know, because in the area or so. Yeah, you yeah. know, and you think about these the people that are searching for their families. I, I I've not been in that position. I know all my family members. I mean, as far as I know, and so they're looking for any family members. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I think that they can, can make a connection at all. They're just happy. Mm -hmm. But I, I, after I got done watching this episode, I thought, well, this was the cousin episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the cousin episode. But the other thing, too, about the cousins or second cousins, especially second cousins, there's no baggage with them. They're exactly. Kind of, oh, they're, yeah. It's yeah. less threatening. That, yeah. Yeah. There's not. She kept you and didn't keep me or any of that exactly it's a good point yeah or you know look at you you grew up oh you had this great home and maybe i didn't or what have you um so yeah the cousins are kind of fresh starts and they're part of your heritage but without all the maybe hard stuff that to talk about hmm, that's a really good point but they still know your grandmother so yes, yes. you have that <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> right yeah Okay, who do we want to talk about next? How about Team Black? Black? Okay. Yeah. That's mother and daughter. Mother and daughter. I love I love them. And uh, so, one thing I liked uh, about them before we get into who they met is that the yeah. very beginning of, of the day, they were doing a daily devotional in the car. Yeah. And so I really like that. That was pretty cool. I like what they do in the cars. Um, yeah. I wish they would show more of what they do in the cars. Mm -hmm. Even like outtakes would be cool. <laughs> 
but so they do a daily devotional. So go ahead, yeah. Jenny, tell us about Black Team Black. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love that as well. I mean, and um, so Ashley, um, she met her cousin, Casey. And so their dads were brothers. And he was, he w- the way he hugged her, I mean, he was really just so happy to meet her. And I think she said, um, I think I wrote it down. Um, you're one of us. We want, we want to be here for you. And, you know, if you're searching for family, I mean, my God, that is, that is the ultimate to hear. And, um, but the wild thing about team black was he showed Ashley a photo of their shared grandmother and her name was Violet. And Ashley was like the spitting image of her. It was that was crazy. crazy. It was crazy. (laughs) And she was she was beautiful. Oh, it was just it was just uh, wonderful. I thought that's why he couldn't let go because he was getting to hug his grandma again. Well, he said that as soon as he saw her, that he immediately thought grandma. And so, yeah. like you said, Mary, you know, you would hug on, you would hang on a little bit, you know, yeah. if, if it was someone like, because I think I get the sense he was very close to his grandma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think she taught him to cook and he worked in restaurants or owned a restaurant or something like that. Yeah, so I think they had a very close bond. She had a restaurant. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't hear what kind of food, but she did have a restaurant. But the question I have for all of y'all, I mean, I understand I mean, I took some courses in genetics. I understand whole dominant recessive genes and stuff. But if you and your grandparent share 12.5% of your DNA, how could Ashley and her grandma Violet look so much alike? How are some genes more expressive than others? You know, I don't it's understand that. well, it is 25%. It's not 12 and a half, but um, oh. cause yeah, four, four grandparents. So you oh, get a okay. From each okay. Of them. So that's so, better. That's a lot better. <laughs> but it um it is <laughs> I had this whole big old argument with my husband that about <laughs> um, you know, thinking that you you should, if you share more DNA, you should look like that person more. But no, not necessarily. Because because you what you share is the, you know, more of the circulatory system or the you know, inner ear bone structure or whatever it is. And it's not the the phenotype that we see. I think that's what it's called. The facial features, um, they are just as much a, a part of it, but we seem to think that they're more mm-hmm. because we can because see them. See it, yeah. Yeah, but I also know like my aunt Kathy, like her genes among her daughters are so expressive. Like, and I am just... I'm I'm a mutt. I, I'm like a 50-50 mix of my parents. Like you, and I just think some of us, our features are maybe just by virtue of something, they're more dominant or something. And they do express themselves more than yeah. and somebody else might, because she and her grandma, I mean, usually I don't see it when people say, Oh, you look I don't either. Like a, I saw that. I mean, yeah. I didn't see it as much in the older picture of her grandmother. I could see it in the eyes, but when they showed us the younger picture of her grandmother, all they, if they could just put her hairstyle like hers was, yeah, uh, yeah. they would be twins, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but Mary and Jenny and Laura, because I don't do you know me, I don't do DNA, I just, I just, my brain does not go there. Um, and so has there ever been um, in the genealogy community, like um, studies or talks or any kind of talking about, about the features and how we get those? There, well, what, what people, I mean, there are people that swear I have to be related because I look like them. Hmm. And I think some of that is projection. <laughs> um you think you look like them, you don't. And that's not necessarily a good um, judgment on it, uh, assessment to say right. that this is a valid match. Um, you know, that said, I mean, I have my mom's um, first husband and he was um, born to an unwed mother and I was able to figure out who his, his biological father is. Um, 
so this is my my mom's first husband's biological father my mom's first husband had a cousin um first cousin their dads were brothers and I got a picture of this cousin to George and I showed it to my daughter I said who is this and she goes that's George I mean it looked exactly like wow. my mom's first husband they were they were first cousins hmm. um, now, so um, yeah so I agree with you and Judy um Mon, she talks about that and those that don't know her she's one of her special specialities is um, Native American or Indigenous people thing. And she has a lot of Native American DNA in her, but she looks Scottish. Hmm. And she says, there's a whole lot of people that like, look oh, at yeah, cheekbones. The high cheekbones. Yeah. And she says, there's so <laughs> many ethnicities that have high cheekbones. <laughs> it, it's just one of these things that can lead you astray. But I do remember about maybe five or six years ago, Cece Moore was at Roots Tech and she was talking that maybe, I think at the time she said maybe a decade, that they were going to get to the point where they could predict based on the DNA and going back and you you can kind of make, I guess it's kind of like a Lazarus kit. You go back and you divide everything up. They could predict what your ancestor would have looked like. Hmm. But that would have been in broad terms, like yeah. tall stature, blonde hair, long nose, blue eyes, not like here's a sketch. All right. hmm. They're doing that in forensic genealogy, though, that they I mean, that's one of the tools that they use. And um, I think Parabon can provide a a possible image of what that person's face might have looked like based on the DNA. So there is oh, enough an ancestor or what they think no. the contemporary person that they're the unknown living person looks like. Right. Right. It, it, yeah. If they can take the person's DNA um, that they find in a, a crime scene or whatever and use that to generate a possible image of that person. Hmm. I mean, it's not guaranteed that that's exactly yeah. what they look like, but there often is you know, enough of a resemblance, I mean, such as you might find just from a a, a witness sketch um, that aren't, isn't always perfect, but there are some, um, yeah, you know, they sure, get some of the features right. And for sure could rule things out right. based on that. And I think, um, I mean, like for, for d crime scene DNA, I think it's not... Um, that they not the image that is going to rule somebody out. I mean, it would be the fact that the DNA doesn't match, but right. well, it it could be a helpful thing if we're trying to figure out. Um, we know some possible candidates of this, of who this could be. They may be able to use that to lean in one direction or right. another. Yeah, like an ethnicity ex estimate that then it just totally wouldn't fit or something. Boy, we that I was. Know. So, so that was team black <laughs> anything else jenny about team black you want to add okay how about team blue um they i've got that uh, uh they met a uh, cousin on the father's side yeah no i think team blue has like the the most mysterious of the whole thing because basically abe started out by saying mm -hmm. his ramona was his mother Yes. And she was terrified of his bi biological father. And she was discouraging him from even looking for him. Yes. And so he even promised that he wouldn't. If you'll remember, he said that. He told her, he said, okay, I won't. Well, he said he wouldn't if he if he met his father, he I what I, the way I understood it is he said, I won't give him any information about you. Well, yeah. She, and, because and she was I, I yeah, it it I don't know if it was a yeah. domestic violence situation or whatever, but it sounded like she was very, very fearful yeah. of that man. Um and so but 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 he still was wary um because it had been so drummed into him that this is a dangerous person, so you should stay away from him. So regardless of whether he could, you know, share the whereabouts of his mother, would or would not do that, he still was 
when, even when she was gone, he was still concerned about. Do we know if she's still me. living? I don't believe she I is. I don't think she is either. Yeah. And for some reason, I'm thinking that kind of gave him the the release or something the to try license to seek to for, do that. Yeah. 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 And so he met his cousin on his father's side, and they were such sweet people. Yeah. Um, you know, you could tell that they were just so welcoming and sweet and uh, and crying and, you know, all that. Um, but they did show him pictures of family and of his homeland. His his aunt, his um, his ethnicity is Palestinian, which is which is interesting due to what's in the news today. But um, yeah. And, you know, and he said that he said it was great to see those pictures of his homeland because he wants to learn more about his ethnicity, his, his background, his family background. And so, and that's what we, you know, how many of us or have any of us uh, discovered a new ethnicity within our genes or our DNA or our research and then go, oh, I want to know more about that. Yeah, the Ancestry mm -hmm. um, commercial, I'm going to trade my kilt in for a, yes. <laughs> a Brenda or whatever, <laughs> later Rosen or the other one. Yeah. They so also like told him, Ferris, so the Ferris was the cousin. I yeah. wrote down, he said, you can't dwell in the past with beautiful things in front of you. And I don't think he mm. was saying, don't think about what your mother told you, but he was just saying, you're not going to, you know, you just found out your debt, you know, your biological dad is passed mm -hmm. and it's hard, but look at, you know, we're family and we're right in front of you. So I hope that brings you some joy. I thought that was very kind, but they also told Abe that his dad was super um, intelligent. Hmm. So there's that. I mean, I think for, for team blue, what I love is I love watching Abe's brother, Eric, yeah. Eric, right. Yeah. He is so into he he feels everything that Abe is feeling. You can see it on his face. You know, he it's not his biological relative, but he is feeling all the feels. He's like, you know, what did he he said at the end was, you know, that that they're not just brothers, you know, that they're yeah. best friends and you know, they made well, this pact, you know. Yeah, he said Beautiful. that that his relatives are my relatives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But the other we noticed and yesterday and today, uh, well, yesterday and today, but the two first two days, um, Abe's relatives have been really welcoming mm. to Eric. You know, they've hugged him and they said, you know, you're part of us now, too. And, and they've been showing some pictures of, of Abe and Eric as they are growing up. Uh, mm. And because I didn't remember how young they were um, when they became a family. Um, and so it seems though that they've been together for many years. And so it's really good to see that, you know, that support and that love and, and, and it's just great. Go ahead, Laura. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, I also just get the vibe from Eric that he could also be way, very, very mischievous. <laughs> he just seems like he's kind of looking for a pot to stir or yeah. a, <laughs> kind of in a good humored way, you know? Yeah. Yep. That's right. Yeah. Yep. But that was a good re, uh, reunion. I really, really enjoyed that one. Yeah. So all that's left is Team Green. Um, and they um, met, Joe met her cousin on her mom's side named Jada Smith, which I thought was kind of where I thought about Jada Pinkett Smith, Pinkett Smith, the actress, but Jada Smith. And she was so cute. Yeah, yeah. She really was cute. Cute little outfit. <laughs> they yes. loved her, her outfit. <laughs> But, so their um, moms, were, their moms were sisters, right? Was that what they? Yeah, yes, sisters. I think that's right. Yeah. 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 Um, let's see. Cousin's mom was their aunt to Quita. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what it was. And they and, showed her a picture of her mom. And her yeah, mom's and, name was Udonna Evans. That's what. I got I wrote down I thought that was right <laughs> yeah and I what a Joe Joe said that this was the first bio cousin that she had ever met so that was kind of cool you mm -hmm. know and and they just it was very lighthearted and and very just sweet and and they just yeah I mean it was just a really nice reunion I think um I think they enjoyed I think they just enjoyed like talking and and um yeah I I, I liked seeing that 
Yeah, it's like they really bonded, but they were funny because Jada had said that because they had met their aunt the day before and they said, you know, she's sassy. And Jada mm -hmm. said, they all are. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm remembering back green team when they were in the car traveling, I was gonna ask they you brought, they brought snacks and they brought sour snacks from their childhood. They said, and I'm like, how old are you? You're 12. <laughs> but, and so there, and so that they said something about that. They used to, as the children, they used to see who could keep this sour candy in their mouth the longest without spitting it out or swallowing it. And the faces they were making, I don't like sour candy. My daughter yeah. absolutely loves it, but I don't. And so, Watching them, I'm thinking, oh, I don't know how they're doing that. <laughs> yeah, that was I think they didn't know how they were doing it. It's, <laughs> it's more, more sour than they had remembered. <laughs> it is. They said, this is more sour than I remember. Why are we doing this? But um, the, we don't all remember. the reunions this on this on this episode were, were really sweet. You know, mm -hmm. um, there was I didn't feel any kind of tension or um, issues. Um, and so um i really enjoyed this this particular episode yeah yeah and i think particularly with joe we're not going to see because she's saying that i guess because of her own experience she just she doesn't feel any resentment for being for her bio, biological mother giving her up like she's mm -hmm. like i just want to meet her i, I feel nothing I, I feel nothing negative about her whatsoever yeah so i think that's gonna like really make it a smooth path for her mm -hmm. that she's just open to whatever yeah so anything else about their meeting their relatives before we get to the results no okay no. they had the same the same shot of that building though that they've had in other seasons like you know the fun's over because they're showing the building time <laughs> for the results Yes, and then they go opening up the laptops, and here yep. we go. And they, so who? What are we going to do? Fourth to first, or first to fourth? Oh, let's <laughs> go first to fourth. Team okay. Team Black just smoked it. Um, or <laughs> no, no, it was, no, team it was no, Sorry, Team Z. Yeah, team Green. Sorry, Team, team Green. Because they were in the it. elimination, and yeah. they beat everybody else. Yes, in the challenge. And then they also beat everybody else overall. So it was a, a win. They went from last to first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real they quick. were so they were so cute how they were like high five at each other and they were all yeah. giggly when they, yeah. they, realized, they realized it. That was yeah. sweet. Well, I had a feeling when they went when they were the first ones to win the challenge, I thought, oh, I bet you this is gonna get them out of the elimination yeah. bracket yeah. or whatever. <laughs> you know, really people online are really having a hard time what to figure out what to call this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's like is it the penalty box is it the right. what is it you know I so like that analogy kind of like a penalty box yeah kind of <laughs> like hockey in the penalty box like I, I don't watch hockey but I know that much so they got uh first place um so who got second place that was team black so we had the girls were on top that's so right the, that's right the, and they were only two minutes over their allotted time yeah some of these things get really close yeah, yeah. And then number three was Team Blue, which means Team Red came in last, which means they got put in the elimination position. Right. And, and they had been first on day one. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, so a lot can happen in a day. <laughs> I would say it just shows you like this is this is going to be wild and kind of wacky. I mean, how uh, there's no there's no way to predict what's going to happen well i think we're going to see we're going to actually experience and see these wide swings where we didn't see them in past past seasons because we just got a strike mm. you know i mean we had first second third and fourth but they would just get a strike and so these wide swings of first second elimination and you know so i you know it's going to be interesting to see how this goes forward and, and like i said it, they kept saying we can't be here on day nine we can't be here on day nine and i'm like we're only on day two and you're talking about day nine yeah. and I can't figure out the strategy other than just to stay out of the elimination, but what's the strategy, Mary? <laughs> well, and I don't, and you know, you were saying earlier that you, what happens if you win the challenge, but then, you know, lose on the driving. And so you wind up eliminated again. And is that different than being eliminated once? Does spending more time in the elimination 
And if you're in elimination <laughs> for eight days, well, okay, I'm still going to see relatives. I'm still moving all yeah. along. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I'm waiting for the next shoe to drop to tell us, okay, right. You can't say elimination. The nuance in a row of the or whatever. Rule. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out is like, what if you do good the whole thing, the whole time? And then day eight or nine, you fall into that where the strikes, I mean, you still, you could do bad day eight and nine and you'd only have two strikes and you would go on. But yeah. this way, depending on what happens in the, that's why they're thinking about it. But I don't think there's a strategy other than like trying to win, but that's what they were doing before. <laughs> yeah. It's certainly going to be very interesting. Um, could we have all four teams on day 10? Oh. The way this looks? Mm -hmm. I okay. don't know. Maybe I mean, I'm thinking on day nine, if that one of the teams is in the elimination spot, I don't think they would go to day 10, but they haven't said that. I thought they had. Had they? Okay. That's but, I, I don't know. Or maybe I just thought that because I was thinking that maybe they were trying to get three teams going to day 10 so that there's like a bigger competition on day 10 versus like you can have having no control over who strikes out. Yeah. But that could have just been a, a mental assumption that I made <laughs> and not what someone actually said. Mm. Yeah. We'll so see. Anything else? anything else about either the teams or challenges or their relatives? I think it was a good day. Mm -hmm. um i mm -hmm. think that everyone was happy you know and uh so now i'm start waiting to see now three and day three and four is when some of the fatigue starts to set in <laughs> uh, i've seen some teams especially if they're family like you know mother daughter or brother sister they start kind of snapping at each other in the mm -hmm. car <laughs> friends don't sometimes do that because it's like they're trying to keep themselves together but yeah. we'll see yeah, there's something about that unconditional love of its family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On yeah. your worst side. Yeah. My Before husband and I have had driving adventures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Anything else we want to talk about? No, just looking forward no, to it. Unless you want to tell people watching to subscribe and like. That's right. <laughs> like and subscribe because that helps us um, with YouTube. And it also shows us that uh, what you like us to talk about, which we're talking about relative race all the way through to day 10. Uh, this is season 13. I can't believe we're in season 13. Mm. No, I That's can't. crazy. Uh, so we will be back again next week with the next episode. But um so Laura and Jenny and Mary, thank you for joining me. Um, and we will see everyone again on Jen Friends first day three. All right. Bye, Bye everybody. Now. Are you sure you want to?